What's going on guys? Well, what's back again with another video for you guys. I hope you're all having a lovely day slash you know, I thought today was the Chelsea game on Saturday, but it's actually on Sunday. So in this video here, I'm going to be giving you guys all the latest Chelsea news, news in, news out. All from Makano, Moses Kakedo, Lampard situation, keeping you guys up to date with every single thing. So guys, if you want to help me out, smash the like button. The more likes, the more helps the channel. Subscribe if you're new here, hit the notification, tune in daily. And make sure you comment down below your thoughts and opinions on every single topic that I do speak on. And also, I want to give a big shout out to two people on my channel always. Alfie Newman, who makes my thumbnails in the past week. The channel has grown a lot again, so big up to him. Go follow him on Twitter, link in the description. And big up Carefree Lewis G. We have agreed that we're doing at least one live stream per week on this channel, okay? So hopefully, could be two, could be three. You're going to be seeing us a lot more, especially during this pandemic. You know, we're locked down in the UK. We can't really go out and stuff. So I feel like football is something that can distract us, help us get through this difficult time. And especially if you guys want to come on the channel as well, we'll be planning some of these things as well. And let me know who you want to see me collaborate with on my channel as well. Comment down below. Now, let's get straight into the Chelsea news. The first one's from the Mail. The Mail have been speaking a lot recently, okay? Chelsea are ready to join the summer chase for Light uh, defender Upa Mancano. He signed a new deal last year, which includes a release clause of 40 million pounds and my question is do we need him do you want him do you want Thiago Silva for another season or do you want Jose Gimenez let me know why I'm happy with any of these signings that I just said I'm happy with Thiago Silva signing a new extension I'm happy with Upama Kano come for 40 million pounds in today's day and age I think it's a very very good deal a bit rash at times but I feel like as he gets older he will adapt and become a very very good player I feel like on the ball he's fantastic and I told you guys about this release clause in my previous videos probably about a couple months ago so it looks like yeah the race for his signature is going to be hotting up very very soon Jose Gimenez I think is a better player but injury prone question marks are to be asked about his fitness and also you know we don't know the future of Rudiger, Christensen, Tomori it all depends on these things as well we need to get rid of a lot of players this summer as well hopefully January but it's going to be very difficult and Thiago Silva, he's trying for another season. He's very happy here, and I feel like he's on a very, very good job. So that's my opinion on that. Now, Lucas Piazza, and I spoke about in my videos probably a couple of days ago about his future. Um, his move to Braga is very close to be happening, as there are only a few details left to be sorted after he was called by Chelsea to sort out his contract situation. That's according to Sport Witness. Now, Moses, Moises, sorry, Kakedo. Is a very very hot topic right now. I told you guys Chelsea joined a race with United to sign him very soon. Very very bright player. I asked you guys for your opinions because I didn't know too much of him. I know his role model is Kante. A lot of you guys are big fans of him and sad to say that United have pulled out which is very good but Chelsea are just interested. They've not put a bid in. They're not you know showing massive signs that they really really want him. There are many clubs in the Premier League that want him. Newcastle, Leeds, Everton, but there's one club that looks like they're going to be signing him. Brighton. It looks like they're going to be signing for £4.5 million pounds according to reports including Fabrizio Romano, Mel Sport, Ecuador's international um, reports and stuff as well. All those guys are saying Premier League club is Brighton who will be signing. And if that's the case, I'm very disappointed. It's a very good move by Brighton if they get him. It's still early days but there are many clubs that have to start showing interest and putting in a bid now because... You know, at least five Premier League clubs want him. So that, for me, says a lot. I feel like if we don't sign him now, he could be a massive name in, let's say, three or four years' time, where his value will be rocketing very high as well. I love that word, rocketing. I think I've used it twice in this video so far. And I don't really use that word, if you know what I mean. So, yeah, um, that's the scenario with Moises Kakeda right now. I don't know if I'm pronouncing his name right. Hopefully I am. Um, but, yeah. Yesterday's well, not yesterday's, but two days ago, I was, I was talking about him saying he's a he could be a very good sign in potential ways. One to keep an eye out, and his name has been popping up. It was trending on Twitter yesterday, in fact. So hopefully, Chelsea put a sneaky bid in. You never know. But if he goes to Brighton, it looks like maybe United and Chelsea weren't as interested as the reports were saying. Now, uh, the next topic that I want to speak about is Frank Lampard. Now, of course, we know the situation. He's Job is on the line. Uh, his wife's actually pregnant right now, so congratulations to both of them. I mean, reminds you of Morata's situation. I don't want it to go anywhere near that, if you know what I mean, in terms of boost. If you're Lampard out, you're Lampard out. Keep it on football. Don't ever get it personal. That's my message to you guys. I'm trying to support Lampard. I'm trying to give him at least a season, but I need to see changes right now. Of course, I believe he'll win tomorrow, 
without any issues but the real test is Fulham and Leicester I feel like if he doesn't get positive results out of those two maybe a win and a draw at least then I feel like his job could be basically finished at Chelsea but look the reports currently now with Mill saying that there's a short list of managers dominated okay right now developed in the Bundesliga uh, Hasse Hutu, Tuchel, uh, Julian Nagsman and Ralph Rangnick okay I don't know why I'm getting all these names because I feel like I got one name with another name rather than the actual real names that's why I was a bit hesitant apologies but that's according to Matt Hughes DM okay now like I said I really really want Frank Lampard to succeed at Chelsea I really want him to change it around I'm Lampard middle by the way I'm not Lampard in or out I'm more towards out kind of because I'm not seeing the changes I'm not seeing the necessary things that need to be done at this club in terms of tactics in-game management on the line trying to make something happen there's no energy from the players no pressing there's nothing they all look lazy they look tired and that's down to the manager getting the players that are starting right and the tactics okay if something's not happening you need to make changes Lampard is a Chelsea man he knows how it works I'm sure by Fulham he will fix it okay if not you know I don't want to say he needs to go, but if the manager sacks, uh, no, sorry, not the manager, if the board sack the manager, I have no complaints right there, okay? I never want a manager to go out. I don't want, I didn't want Sarri, I didn't want Conte, I didn't want Mourinho, I didn't want Ancelotti especially, I didn't want these guys to go, okay? But it happens at Chelsea. If you don't succeed, if you're not, you know, shining, you're out, okay? That's what happens, unfortunately. Um, Lampard spoke at the press conference as well, a bit of press conference news. Reece James is out, injured, but he'll be back in training tomorrow which is actually today because the press conference was yesterday Kante has a minor hamstring injury he'll be out as well as suspended for Fulham so hopefully he comes back for Leicester um, and always I don't even know if you risk players come back from injury Pulisic has been playing a lot of games recently and I'm a bit worried because I feel like he definitely needs a rest I want him to do well but I don't want him to get injured at the same time so does he play every single game from now I don't know Hudson Doyle should definitely play Hakim Ziyech needs to get up to speed. So maybe those two guys could start against Fulham. I don't know why I'm looking too ahead because we've got the FA Cup tie tomorrow. But realistically, there's a lot of youngsters that will be playing tomorrow. But I expect Timo Werner, Kai Havertz to be playing to try and get that confidence back in their play so they can bring it on to Fulham and start a fresh start, man. That's what I want to see. And also, Kai Havertz in the second part of the season does fantastic. The first part of the season, last year, he didn't do too, too well. The second part of the season, he absolutely demolished it. So I want to see that same energy from him under Chelsea, of course, and hopefully he can kick off his career at Chelsea. It does take a lot of time. He's only 21. He's had a COVID symptom as well, and it's difficult to come back strong. You're a 72 million player after fees, of course, 62 million up front. German reports are saying 72 million, of course. Uh, we don't know which one's true. Obviously, English reports are saying 62 million. But Kai Havertz, you have to support him. You know, I feel like he's going to be a silky player. He's going to be a special technical player that can play in different positions. But he just needs to get used to the Premier League. That's all it is. Some people take a couple months. Some people take a year. Some people take... Like Bruno Fernandes came straight in and it was perfect. You can be good like that. But sometimes you just need time because... United based their football off Bruno Fernandes, 100%. He takes everything. Under Chelsea, Havertz is not the main man like he was at Leverkusen. Everyone's good at Chelsea. When you look at their actual ability, when you look at Pulisic, Hudson-Odoi, Hakim Ziyech, Timo Werner, I'm not talking about form right now, I'm just talking about general ability. They're good enough, if you know what I mean. So that's one to keep an eye out on. Um, hopefully our players come good, the ones that we sign. And Kepa... You know, he doesn't want to talk, Frank Lampard doesn't talk about his future in terms of whether it will be starting tomorrow, whether it will be sold. He said we'll look at it in January, day by day. If anything happens, they'll keep us updated, basically. It doesn't look like he'll be, he might not even start tomorrow. I'll be very surprised if he doesn't start tomorrow because Mendy has been making a few mistakes. So he is on watch list at the moment. Obviously, Mendy's a lot better than Kepa, way ahead of Kepa and shouldn't be dropped for Kepa. But Mendy has to be looked at because there's goalkeepers like Donnarumma that we're looking at that could be on a free transfer that we could have signed as well very, very soon. So those things, I believe Chelsea are probably still scouting and keeping options open just like with the manager um, situation as well. So guys, that's probably everything I want to speak about in this Chelsea video. Very, very quick update for you guys. Tomorrow will be a live stream, um, probably by myself maybe, or if some of you guys donate and help out the channel, you guys can be invited to the channel as well. But your support has been amazing in the past week, well, forever. But most of you guys have been tuning in recently again. And I you know, couldn't do it without you guys. So guys, if you can, 
smash the like button, subscribe for new here, hit the notification, tune in daily, and make sure you comment down below your thoughts and opinions as always. Peace. Take care. See you tomorrow.